The next feature we're going to look at is actually a combination of a couple different things. We're going to start with the navigation history, which was added in version 35. Also in version 35 is the internal links, which also connects to the backlinks added in version 37. So that's where we're going to go next, but we're going to start here with the navigation history, which allows you to navigate between your notes in the order that you visited them, much like you would in your web browser. So to demo this, let's actually open a new note by hitting Command O, and I'm going to open up my block priming article. And you can navigate between your notes a couple of different ways. So first, you can click the arrows in the top of the toolbar for the active note. So if I click the left arrow here, it's going to take me to the previous note, which is my equations note. And if we click on the right arrow, it'll take us back to the block priming article. You can also navigate using keyboard shortcuts. For example, Command-8 will open up this menu on the right where we can now jump to any of the headers that are in this particular note. Block priming is the first level header and all the second level headers are indented underneath that. You can also use keyboard shortcuts to navigate between the different notes, just like we did using the arrows at the top of the note toolbar. So hitting Command left bracket will go backwards and hitting command right bracket will go forwards. Now as you're navigating notes, you can just open the notes, but there's also a feature here for internal links, which was added in version 35 that I referenced a little bit earlier. And this allows you to navigate your notes via links that are in your notes and is honestly a much more natural way to connect ideas between the notes in Ulysses. So let's go into this block priming note, go to a new line here, and add an internal link using the formatting in Ulysses, which is pretty simple. It's just left bracket, the text you wanna turn into a link, and then right bracket. That creates this pop-up right here where we can choose what we wanna to link to, and we can change the title of the link if we want from this pop-up as well. Now from here, we can paste a URL if we wanna use an external link to something like a web page, but we can also now use note titles and even note headers. So if I were to just start typing Morgan, for example, it's gonna find the Morgan and Obsidian heading that is in this note or this sheet. So to add this link, we just need to hit enter. Now we have the link right there and we can navigate to this link by double clicking on it. That's pretty handy for jumping to specific sections of notes, but you can also link note titles directly together and have those show up in a backlink section inside of the dashboard. So let's create a new note in our inbox here, and we'll call this links to demo this. Okay, so we've got a new note here titled links, and let's link this to the equations note. So we can either do the left bracket, note title, right bracket, or we can use the keyboard shortcut for creating a link, which is command K. Type the text we want for the link. Now that's the text, but that's not actually a link yet. So we do have to hit enter and then add the note that we want to link to in this pop-up window. So from here, let's search for equations, which is linking to that first level header, which Ulysses is translating into the note title. And now we have a link to another note. All right, let's add one more link here to the tables note. Again, from the pop-up, we'll search for tables, hit enter. And now we have two links to other notes from this links note. So, so far, this is basically just like the internal linking in Obsidian, but these links only go one way. So we can view these links in the dashboard by clicking the dashboard button right here. And in the lower right side of this, you can see we have links here to the equations and to the tables. The next feature we're gonna look at are the writing tools, which do require Mac OS version 15.1 or newer. These were added in Ulysses version 36. So these are the built-in system writing tools, but I do want to demo what these look like inside of Ulysses. Okay, so let's open up a note here from my PKM stack project. We'll start with this the PKM stack note and let's select a section of text. Okay, now there are a couple of ways that we can get to the writing tools. The first way is to right click on the text and select writing tools from the contextual menu. 
which gives us access to all of the different options, but for now, let's just select Show Writing Tools. This creates this pop-up where we can describe the change that we want or select from one of the pre-configured options. For this example, let's just use the Writing Tools to proofread the selected text. Click the Proofread button, and here is the amended version of the text, which is pretty close to what I had, but is a little bit cleaner and more grammatically correct. I can see it added a couple of commas and it cleaned up a couple of other things. So from here, we can either click the copy button to copy this to the clipboard. But in this case, if we just want to fix these things, I'll click the replace button. Now let's go to the next line, right click, go to the writing tools option from the contextual menu one more time. And this time let's select the Compose option. Now this requires ChatGPT integration, so we do need to enable this before we can actually use this feature. So let's click the button to set up ChatGPT. We get this pop-up which explains how ChatGPT works on our Mac. Click the Next button to see this screen about privacy in ChatGPT. And then to use the feature, we need to click the Enable ChatGPT button right here, which then opens up this prompt and we can compose what we want to be added to this text document using a prompt for ChatGPT. So let's write a paragraph about historical software stacks and why they're important. That seems like it might fit between these two paragraphs. Okay, so here's what ChatGPT came back with. And if we want to add this to the document, we just click Insert.